Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your monthly tarot card reading for the month of September 2016. Um, I do want to remind everyone again that um, that this is a very general reading for all um, Sagittarius's out there and it can just give you kind of the theme and the feel and the, the messages that are just kind of the majority for all and kind of a taste of what it is because private readings are much more thorough and of course it's personal for the individual so that it's you know it's very hard to pinpoint every single one of you out there um and if you do want a private reading i do have my website listed below um in the description box yes i finally got my website up so um took a while <laughs> i did it myself so and also down the um on the description box is a site where you can find me in different sites of uh, sites my sites are listed down there and i also have a page with patreon um, my fan site so and i post the videos there too so you can check those out and um i did post the astrology yesterday so if you didn't see those check those out and that's it for now so let's get on with your reading Okay, so you know, it just looks like things are just gonna go your way as usual. You guys are really lucky. <laughs> I don't know. The Sagittarius in my life, no matter what goes in their life, they always find a way, or just things just fall in place for them. That's what I the the Sagittarius I know, and it's just amazing. Um, it's a good month. It's like you're trying to move ahead in some areas. Um, haste makes waste in some areas too, but you know, uh, you're coming out of the month then with um this maybe even a twist of um or there's a there's a sense of completion here, things that have been um that are going to be shed to light and uh, um completion and then you know just moving forward. So, okay, let's start off with this is a beautiful card. So you're coming in with the nine of cups, nine of cups. This is a wish card. So if there is anything that I'm not going to answer here, this is probably um, is a yes answer. How this also works out is, you know what? Wishes. Wish. Do the law of attraction. I'm big. I'm so big on the law of attraction. I absolutely am big on that. So law of attraction is excellent here. Um, the, uh, this is the yes card. You mostly go, whatever goes on, it's probably ultimately going to work out your way. That's for some of you, not for all of you. Again, this could be just, you know, sense of content feeling overall um, content through the month, no matter what's going on. So that is a good card. Then you have the five of cups here, which says the typical meaning, don't cry over spilt milk, never cry over spilt milk, because you know what? You are definitely, you, you know, there's, there's these two cups you're not seeing. That's like the textbook version of this. But what this also says sometimes is be a little careful. You know, you seem very optimistic, but just be careful. Um, don't, you know, don't be hasty in things. You may regret what you say. Um, you may have some regrets about some stuff because when you got the three of swords, this could also be, this could be separations. Um, this could also mean, uh, things surfacing from the past and you just needing to rehash a little and just letting go. This is also, um, trying to really, there's a thirst here of trying to move forward. Um, trying to build something or there's also this change of status in a way you're trying to change your status your title whatever it is it could be work home uh some of you want to go from miss to mrs or from mrs to miss you know so there is just a little bit maybe a delay in areas like this or um you know just things coming back from the past where you just have to be you know you rehash and you just you, you seem you're going to get over it pretty fast with the nine of wands, it's again saying guarding your own troops, you're guarding your own stuff, uh, guarding your own feelings, guarding your own everything that you've been building or trying to create. Um, there could be a delay with the three of swords here. So um, this is just a sense of everything that you're staying your own ground here. 
and you're being very protective. So it's like, um, no, you know, there's a sense of maybe even stubbornness here too. So, and this is also just, um, uh, releasing some stuff that's coming from the past or, you know, but this is definitely going to be getting over it because here you got the six of ones, whatever it is, you look like you're going to win out the situation or you're just going to just say, um, the heck with it and move forward. This is good. This is also telling me that maybe if you guys are, um, uh, for some, it could be, I don't, there's not meant in a money cards here, but again, there's a sense of, um, if you're trying to get, um, accepted into a school, um, or whatever your ambition is now, there could be delays, but ultimately, you know, you get this win card, you, you probably get your way. That's what it's saying here. And then you're leaving the month with the page of swords and the page of swords says, um, everything here that, you know, the struggles or whatever you were going through. And at least there's a sense of ambition too. You really want to move forward is, you know, you get this great idea. You may be, if it was school that you're trying to get into, maybe you're trying to get into some kind of school or, or it could be job, but whatever it is, you're starting off fresh here and you're starting to learn. You may be reading a lot. Um, again, watch out for a little bit with the five of cups and the three of swords, watch out for criticism. There could be some critics, but at the same time, doesn't matter because Sanj is just going to say, Oh, whatever and move on. So this is also rehashing some stuff. Um, reevaluating your own thoughts or how you maneuvered in some areas. So you're coming into this and moving forward in a sense of finding new friends, finding new, um, areas. There's something new coming in, um, um, great ideas coming in, new projects, some, um, stuff like that. And, um, uh, you may be also, uh, um, um, taking some, uh, uh, how do you say, um, oh, constructive criticism. Sorry. And the overall theme here, when you come, is the Ten of Swords. This is the underlying kind of theme and energy of this. It's what I feel is the subconscious energy. It's this Ten of Swords. So all these things that's been going on here, there is a ending and a new beginning. And with the Page of Swords here, that's what's telling me too. There's a new beginning. With the Nine of Cups, you know, um, you can make things come um, end. You can um, you can get your your wish can come true with some work here. You know. The Ten of Swords, you know, don't get scared of the Ten of Swords. I know some people do, but this is like, hey, you know, there may be some pain or hurts, but you're just, you're moving on. You know, there's light behind the horizon. So you're moving on, you're starting something new. So, and there's a sense of uh, taking control and maybe constructive cr criticism or whatever it is, is going to make you move and you're just going to start on you. So there's a sense of um, uh, completing things and um, starting off fresh coming into October. And I'm going to be pulling a card from this deck to see if there's any added messages. Let's see. All right. Oh, God. Oh, I love this card. Spiritual Law of Attraction. I absolutely love the Law of Attraction. I've got to do a video on the Law of Attraction because that is something that I practice all the time. Absolutely love it. Here you go. Law of Attraction. You can actually manifest and get anything you want. I mean, it's not like, oh, I wish this, I wish that, and you don't do anything. You know, to be also doing the Law of Attraction, you really have to be spiritually evolving in that. And it does say the Spiritual Law of Attraction. So, and now, you know, as you're coming into the month with the Nine of Cups, there you go. You know, you can manifest and get your wishes coming true. Um, go into the divine, go into your own self, uh, make those prayers, use these eclipses, um, ask for anything to leave your life that doesn't serve you anymore. Um, bring in the new things that would, um, you know, make sure they're good wishes. You know, we don't want to do anything bad. Some people think they can just manifest anything evil. We don't want to do that. <laughs> There's karma, <laughs> but you know, I just had to put that out there, but you know, Delve into it, try it, and you know you got your wish card here too. So looks like an awesome month, um, Sagittarius. So um, please like, share, and subscribe. And tomorrow I'll be doing the regular weekly tarot card readings. So check those out tomorrow. Okay, Sagis, enjoy. Bye, love ya. Bye.